we extend our algorithm W to handle type class constraints. So we call that actually we have made some assumption that um, the plus uh, operator has the type into into in, which is not true in Haskell because in Haskell actually the num, uh, sorry, the plus operator has the um, type signature or type scheme for all alpha, num alpha, uh, which is a type class context and is alpha go to alpha go to alpha. Given this like uh, information that has a type class constraint here, how do we infer the uh, type of this program? So the main idea is, is to uh, make some adjustment to our algorithm W uh, type inference rule that is to collect the type class constraint in a separate um, list or set C. And we need to accept um, the, the rule, of course, and also the uh, helping functions to handle the type class constraint. For example, we need to extend the ins functions um, to handle the instantiation of for all uh, type scheme that which carry a type context here, which is TC, uh, T prime, that uh, when we instantiate, we look for a, a new unification type variable, beta one, that would not only grounds, uh, or not only replace the um, alpha that in T, but also uh, in the type context. For the generalization rule, we take into account uh, not just the type uh, environment gamma, but as well as the current type uh, constraint set, C. And we when we try to pro promote the um, uh, type variable alpha that is free from the uh, type environment gamma, that is um, free in T, we also need to take care of the um, type class constraint that mentions um, the alpha, and we have to promote them in uh, into the uh, the type class context in the type scheme here, and we only uh, keep those um, the uh, type class constraint that doesn't mention about the alpha as the output uh, constraint set. The uh, the inference rule we almost exactly the same except that now we have to uh, keep track of the the uh, type class constraint at every single point in time. Okay. Then let's we con let's consider one uh, example one final example that is we were trying to uh, infer the type of this lambda expression is lambda x right arrow x plus one and under the environment that uh, we know that uh, gamma in it is having the type um, uh, one has a type for all alpha num alpha go to alpha this is the type class context so first we look at this uh, term has the shape of uh, lambda abstractions so we're going to apply the apps rule here and to do that we create the end result um, type alpha one okay we, we, we're going to ground this later on and Having the assumptions of, of sorry, the alpha one is actually the type of the uh, input uh, variable alpha. Uh, input variable x has type alpha one. We would like to extend um, the type environment gamma uh, in it to have uh, the x mapping mapping x to alpha one. Under which we would like to type uh, inference the body which is uh, x plus one have some type, and this is a uh, application. So we call the app rule here to create beta one, which is a new type unification variable that serves as the return type of the um, the function application. And we will we first need to find out what is the um, type of the uh, function expressions, which is the plus x. Okay, so under this environment, we would like to infer the type of the plus x, and this is a application uh, expression, so we apply the app rule. And first, we need to create a uh, temporary variable gamma one that will serve as the uh, return type of this uh, application. And then uh, we would like to find out what's the type of the plus. So we look it up by the var rule, and we found that var is actually sorry plus is actually has type uh, for all alpha num alpha num, uh, alpha to alpha to alpha. And we go to apply the ins rule to this, and we ground with uh, delta one to delta one to delta one, and then there is the type class constraint has been propagated out here. It's called num uh, delta one. So this would be the generated um, type class constraint set. Next, we have to infer the type of the um, the 
uh, argument, the actual argument x, coming from this type replica, uh, this function application, x would have type alpha one because uh, it's recorded in gamma one, okay. So and this is trivial. And next we're going to apply the MGU to unify um, the type of the plus, which is delta one to delta one to delta one, and with actual argument type alpha one and the um, the temporary return type variable gamma one. So this will give us the substitution sign one that is we're going to replace um, uh, delta one by gonna replace gamma one by delta one to de delta one alpha one with delta one. Okay, so that would give us the output type. So the infer type for this expression would be delta one to delta one with psi one as the type substitutions and num delta one as the constraint for type class that propagate it down. Next, we're going to infer the type of the actual uh, argument one, which is a constant. So uh, straightforwardly, we can omit some of the detail here. We can find out that actually um, one has a type delta one. Um, sorry zeta 1 and we would like to um, also ground the type class constraint because uh, um, 1 has this type okay so this will be grounded with num um, zeta 1 okay next we're going to uh, pro perform a, a a unification between the function type delta 1 to delta 1 with zeta 1 to beta 1 and this will give us a, sub a substitution that is replacing zeta 1 with um, delta 1, beta 1 with uh, delta 1, that is psi 2. And we're going to apply psi 2 to our beta 1, which is the return type of this application. So that would give us um, actually delta 1. And it also generates um, the type class constraint connected all together here. Okay, next, given this information, we would like to. Um, uh, ap apply <coughs> the type substitutions to um, the type of this lambda abstraction that was alpha 1 to delta 1 and because we already know that we need to replace alpha 1 by um, delta 1 so the whole uh, expression return here will be delta 1 to delta 1 and we cite 3 as the type substitution and the constraints as here that num um, delta 1 is the type class constraint. The type of this expression, GACI would probably tell you that this is um, num um, delta 1 and then delta 1, right arrow delta 1.